Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at something really cool that you can do with Open Web UI, and that's to actually access our custom models to the use of an API. So here I have a bunch of different models that I've created, and these are custom models, right? They're based on existing models that we have. So if I click on the good prompt chatbot, right, this is what it is. It's based on a local model, which is the Phi 3.5 latest. It's running on my computer, right? This is a completely local model. It's supposed to be a chatbot for Tesla. It's only supposed to answer questions about the car. It's not supposed to provide any information about discounts or promotional offers. So what I did was I simply took the API key from Open Web UI and I created a very simple front end interface using Streamlit. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to share the code to all of this here in the description. Now I can ask it something like, hi, and then do you have any discounts or promotions? Now I know that it's supposed to say no. And if I ask it something like, tell me a story in hundred words or less, it's not supposed to tell me the story because it's only supposed to talk about the car. Now imagine that I switch this out with another model, which is the bad prompt chatbot. Now I haven't really given any detailed system prompts or descriptions about this. So if I was to ask it a question on like, tell me a story, it should actually respond accordingly. The only thing I would do is in my code base, which is this, I would change the good prompt to the bad prompt chatbot. That's it. So here under my Streamlit interface, if I refresh this page, let's say hi again, and then tell me a story in hundred words or less, it should return a story. So this is the whole idea behind using the API key. Now I can take the API key and create an interface like this, and then I can host it in my website right? I can host it in my app. It doesn't matter, but this is really a way in which we can actually allow other people from around the world to actually access all of the models that we created and prototyped in the open web UI interface. So how did I set that up? Well, let's take a look. So the first thing that we'll have to do is to open up command prompt. Now here, all we would do is just type in this command, which is curl dash H. And I'm going to paste this code in the description. So you can definitely take a look. And we want to provide the API key. So how do we find our API key? Well, what we would do is on open web UI, we will click on settings, account, API keys, and then show. If you don't have one created, you would, you can simply create a new one here and you can copy this. Once you do that, you would simply paste that here instead of your API key. And once you do that, this is the type of output that you would end up getting. Now we can simply copy this and paste it in a format that we can see a little bit better. So this is what it would look like. So basically this is what it returns. The IDs of all of the different models that are available on open web UI that we can access. So we have all of these different models like Opus, Haiku, Sonnet, uh, the Dispil Distill Whisper models, like all of these that we can access. So suppose that I wanted to access a specific model. How would I do that? Well, what we'll have to do is to create a post request to localhost 3000 API chat and completions. Now here we'll provide our API key. So all you would do is replace this with the API key that you got from your settings. Um, here you'll specify the model based on whatever model that you have available. So if you don't have Llama 3.2, you might just have to replace this with the one that you do have. And then the rest of the stuff can remain the same. So basically when you provide this, it, the return should just be an output that you would get uh, from this model. So what I did was I simply created a Streamlit interface using just this code. So what we can do is simply copy this and then we can go over to open web UI. And here, let's create a new chat. Instead of chat GPT, sure, you know what? Let's just stick with chat GPT. I'm gonna say this works help me create um, a Streamlit application UI. So it's going to create, create it from scratch. It got a little bit lazy on me there. So here is the full code that it provided to us. And uh, the only thing that we would have to do is to provide it the API key. And this is exactly what I did here. Um, except the only difference was when I provided the C curl, I also provided the API key and it wrote the entire code for me. And uh, this is what that code looks like. 
Now, obviously, if I scroll up a little bit more, it's gonna also show me my API, show you my API key, which I don't want that to happen. And the way that I ran this code is all you would do is type in streamlet run and then the name of the file. In this case, the file is app.py. So once I run this, I can go over to localhost 8501 and this is where the model is hosted. Now I can take this maybe one or two steps further and create maybe some sort of like ngrok where now I can have this model accessible to anyone from anywhere around the world. To do that, I'm going to first go to ngrok And then here I'm going to have to sign up. Once you do that, it's going to ask me about my account name. I'm just going to say blah, blah, blah. And uh, here it has some in installation instructions. I'm just going to click on download and download for Windows 64 bit. Once the download is complete, all I would do is extract the folder. And this is what I get here. So let's double click this. And uh, let's see if I have any additional steps that I have to do. Yep, it says I, I have to add this uh, auth token. So let me copy this. And I can simply paste that here. It said that this is saved. And then if I have to deploy this app, I'm just going to copy this code. And let's open up this window again. Now, notice that it's running on 8080, but I'm running Streamlit on 8501. So now if I do this, it's going to give me a forwarding. So if I click on this, it's created this app that anyone from anywhere around the world can access the chatbot. So I can even access this chatbot now on my phone. So this is one way in which you can provide access to other people from around the world to your own custom models that you've created on Open Web UI. They don't have to sign up. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to download. Uh, open web UI, they don't have to download any containers or Docker desktop or anything. It's just a way in which other people can now access your own custom models. And that's pretty much it for this video. The whole idea was how we can use the APIs from Open Web UI to then create our own applications where we can have other people access our models. If you liked it, then please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos or suggestions, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like I said, like I said before, I'm going to be posting the code for all of these things in the description. So definitely take a look if you want to see how you can set all of those things up. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.